Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So we are going to be covering the Frostwing today. And of course, this is the team that you should be using according to the Wikipedia. So, of course, with monster hunting gear, you can tell it's a kill instantly every single time. However, obviously not everybody has monster hunting gear. And of course, this is kind of why, I, yeah, if you want a selling point for monster hunting gear, there you have it. But, all right, if let's suppose you don't have any monster hunting gear. All right, this is kind of what you can expect. Again, it's mildly flawed in the sense that, yes, I do have all gold legendary heroes at level 60, and my monster hunting research is done. But as you can tell, it's 100%. All right, now, this is kind of what you, the team that you want to use for Frostwing, and it's most, for the most part, it works pretty well. All right, now, if you go up to like a level four, again, you know, how I've shown you on this channel before, and I know some people, you know, they've been like, well, what's, why is it taking you 10 minutes to make a monster of a video? Well, it's like, well, come on, guys. If, if anything, right? The reason why I do this and the way I try to show you guys this in the first place rather than just give you a straight up answer is that you really do need to understand that in the end, all right, if you don't understand why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it and why I make the adjustments that I do, you ultimately can't adjust when there are new monsters in the game. And a lot of you guys will struggle if you don't understand what's going on. So, like, here we got 1.67. All right. Now, on a level four, all right, you'll notice this, you know, this is kind of one of those things where this is a physical defense drop def DPS team, okay? And essentially, because it's fighting Frostwing, one of the concerns that you're going to have, obviously, is, well, at some point, right, you're, you're basically going to have to deal as much damage as possible, right? Because the damage is kind of what we're aiming for here. But the problem being is obviously at some point our heroes like to die. It's kind of the unfortunate reality with any particular DPS team is that at some point they are a little bit flawed in this respect that at some point they will begin to die. Now, unfortunately, just like in any other team, whether it be Bon Appetit or whomever, Scarlet Bolt is usually one of the very first and finally call it quits and then die. But even having that said, this team works great. For level fours and level fives and actually for the most part you really won't notice that much of a difference in terms of you know what you can do in dps and that's really it's really not much different i mean truly if you are trying to go after frostwing in particular this is kind of the team that you should use now when it comes to griffin and again i know it's a griffin and it's a frostwing special uh, because I figured, you know, why not? Well, let's go ahead and cover both of them at the same time in one video. Because, you know, people be getting all saucy about making one video about one monster here. But, all right. So, in this particular case, right? And, and this is this is always tricky, right? Because, ultimately, you're dealing with Griffin here, who's physical and magic. All right. And you can see here, I kind of did a weird mixture of the two. But realistically, okay, when it comes to teams, this is not necessarily the team that you should use, all right? Because really, um, I, I want to say that really what you're aiming for here, guys, all right, <laughs> is that you're, you're aiming for either a full DPS or a full magic, okay? There's nothing wrong with doing a little bit of a mix, like, for example, throwing Incinerator in here. It's not going to do you any harm. Uh, you can just as easily put like, you know, a Scarlet Bolt in there and then put in like a Death Archer or putting in like, say, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, some pay to wins, obviously I could throw in, but I, I only point this stuff out because I mean, in the end, all right, at least in my preference, you know, you can use Demon Slayer, you could use Incinerator. There's really not a wrong answer here. Okay. Cause really what you're trying to do is pretty obvious. You're just trying to do as much DPS as possible. And even in like a team like this, you know, it's you, you'll see here in a bit where it, it's, yeah, you know, it, it, it it's not foolproof. You know, it's like you, you can get it to work for some, not so much for others. All right. You now, one of the problems with this team is that it, it doesn't do enough. I mean, you would think in, in theory, right? The same team that we would use for a Frostwing team is going to apply here with Griffin because they're both physical and magic. But the monster itself is not the same. Um, now, you'll see here in just a second, you know, basically what ends up happening here is, you know, it's the same fault that you see it time and time again with any particular monster. 
And this is the thing, you know, you can't make assumptions that this will work every single time. It's just, it's the way things are. You'll notice that even though a team like this you would think would do more damage, and in theory it should, but as you can kind of tell, you know, it's it's kind of flawed. And it, it, I mean, yeah, we're getting close. We're not, you know, 150% all the way through. You know, we're trying to do as much DPS as possible, you know, and we get close. It's not to say that our team is anywhere weaker, okay? It's just that simply put, you, in order to do the DPS necessary, you really have to be laying in a ton of damage. And it's hard to do when this team here is unfortunately going to be kind of, it's it slowed down a little bit, you know, in the sense that you know, if you wanted to do more DPS on like Griffin, for example, I mean, the real trick with him in particular is that, you know, you, you like I've been telling you, you know, you can use your high DPS magic teams as well, you know, there's no harm in doing it. I mean, so to give you an example, okay, like, although this team works great in dropping DPS and such in the physical base category, you could just as easily put like an incinerator in here, all right, a small, simple switch. And again, it's nothing, it's nothing in particular. It's just the only thing that we've done at this point is we've gone from using physical base damage to magic now, you know, using a little bit of high DPS in two categories rather than just one. Now, I, you know, for what it's worth, you know, it, it does take a little bit of playing to get with because obviously the one issue that you're going to have fighting either Griffin or fighting Frostwing is that they both have their ups and downs, you know, and this is going to change depending on the tier of the monster as well. And you'll see here in a bit what I mean by that, okay? Because ultimately, as the monster tier increases, you're ultimately going to have different, you're going to yield different results every single time. Um, and unfortunately, you know, one of the things that it, it happens a lot with, with these kind of teams is that you're, you're trying to do as much damage as possible on a monster that frankly doesn't seem to have really so much a focus as it is anything else. And you can see here that according to Wikipedia, by switching a trickster or, or an incinerator, this is somehow supposed to do more damage. As you can tell, in both situations, it doesn't do it. it, it it's not enough. And so my solution, or at least the approach that I've come with in the case of Griffin, okay? And, and this is the, the reason why I like to show you these teams, right? And the reason why I point them out to you is because, I mean, you know, obviously you guys probably read stuff on the Wikipedia, but you probably haven't ever tested this. And if you have, good for you, but most people, I want to say, kind of blindly pick these teams without really putting a whole lot of thought into it. And rightfully so, because really most of us, I would say, are pretty quick to the point. We don't want to waste, you know, several hours of our life wasting energy here trying to get the answer when we should just look it up, right? But if you ask me, the answer is really simple. All you need to do is pull out your Scarlet Bolt, and then you want to put in an element list. Now, you can pull out Demon Slayer if you'd like, and then swap that out for a Scarlet Bolt. There's no wrong answer here, okay? Because really, I think even this is probably not such a bad option. And the reason why this is going to work as well as it does is now we're increasing the actual int damage generated by incinerator, but simultaneously we're also increasing the defense drop. So we've kind of done a little bit of both in the sense that we're we're now trying to do you know a combination of damage in two different places. Now you'll see you know the one thing that <laughs> well, is problematic when you're trying to swap you know damage from one side to the other is that you're trying to deal damage on both fronts. And sometimes this doesn't work as well as we'd like it to. I and mean, unfortunately, in this particular case, you can see it, it gets very close. It's close, but it's so close that <laughs> some of us are just like, well, man, you should just put on your monster and gear. It's just easier. Now, that would be the general rule of thumb for just about anybody that plays pay to play. But most of you guys out there who are free to play probably don't have that luxury. And that's kind of the only problem with Griffin is that even though most players who are hunting him in particular will probably find themselves in this predicament, I will say that if you're trying to increase the DPS, right, and you're trying to actually kill Griffin, 
the one team that I believe will actually kill him on an insta-kill basis, or at least ought to be very close, is what you do is, so, in this particular team lineup, all right, you've got defense drop, defense drop, increase in damage, increase in damage, and then you have tracker. Now, I think tracker is great for a lot of things, but in this particular situation, you would almost be better off probably using something more like, uh, well, I mean, for example, you could very well get away with putting in like Demon Slayer over tracker in this particular situation. Now, you'll see that, you know, as much as I'd love that to be the case, sometimes that just doesn't work. But in this particular situation, I mean, when it comes to trying to actually kill Griffin, which, you know, is always a little tricky. It's, you know, it takes a lot of time to actually kill a Griffin, for that matter. Especially if you've never actually... Because, you know, again, I'm showing you all these different teams. And part of the reason I, I show you these different teams is for the simple reason that it's... You know, it's it's all trial and error. You know, it's it's a question of well, what's going to work best and why. You know, and and in this particular situation, you know, with making one slight little variation, you know, you can see here it drops by almost ten percent. You can see how vital, you know, in this particular situation, how much of a difference that made, because it, it it's literally the difference between it being only two percent away and eleven percent. That's how big of a deal these heroes are in terms of actually killing, you know, in the in the case of Griffin. You know, that's that's really what it what where it actually begins to be quite noticeable. Okay. But even though that's the case, right? You know, when it comes to killing Griffin in particular, I mean you know, that there's not really a wrong answer with the team that you decide to use. You know, you can vary just as easily if you wanted to. Okay, and again, I, I kind of struggle finding any one particular area of griffins that are just lying around here. But, okay, so, as you can tell, all right, the solution isn't going to be to try to do this at the same time. And we know tracker's a pretty vital key in this. So then the only other thing you can do at this point is you could probably pull elementalist out. And then in return, you either have to do one of two things. You can either try to boost the int damage by adding a magic defense drop hero. Okay, what that's going to do is it's going to increase the damage being generated here. And then what you could do is you could pull your Scarlet Bullet and your Black Crow out, which is really awkward. Doesn't sound like it would work, but you'll see. Where, like, here, you know, we're doing a magic team. Now, magic, as much as most people like to think it's complete garbo in this particular situation... I mean, I'll show you what, you know, this is, again, remember, okay, Griffin is not somebody that is purely physical or purely magic. He's both. And so you can actually go two different angles here if you would like. You can go purely physical damage. You can go purely magic damage. And there's not really a wrong answer. Um, and part of the reason is just, I mean, yeah, you'll, you'll see the difference in damage ratio, you know. And you can go back and look through this video if you'd like to just kind of get an idea because you can see here at 90 percent using a magic team it's still not enough and so ultimately i feel like the best option is to use kind of a combination of the two and in case you're forgetting right of what team i'm suggesting to use i'll show you so you know like i mean again i'm, I'm sure some of you guys out there who are a little skeptical um, you know, obviously, if you guys have any better teams, more than happy, you know, to hear your words on this on the comment section. But it's just for the most part, all right, you'll notice that, you know, for, for this team, okay, as much as you'd like it to work, it's not going to work because it just doesn't have enough to really carry. And, and that's the only problem with it, really. But for the most part, this team here, wherever did he go? wondering where the heck he went okay there you go like this team here works just fine and you could just as easily like do this you could just as easily do that or this you know there's no wrong answer there it's just that when it comes to the dps all right and say we even use a team like this okay a small variation in dps here and again this is a level three not a level one but a very small variation in the dps okay You'll see that 
even still, it's it's kind of a question of what is better when it comes to the damage ratio on these. But like you'll see here, it's almost five percent on a level three, and it's really not that bad. I mean, it's it gets you what you need. You'll notice that you know, like in a team like this, <clears throat> you know, and you can try it on level ones too if you'd like, because really where where this team kind of shines is you're getting an enormous amount of damage, and that's kind of what you need for a team like this. Now, of course, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you kind of what a level one will look like, and then we'll call it it for the video. But, oh my goodness, it is just one of those things that, like, you know, obviously, if, if you want my opinion on the gear sets up to this point, right, I will say that a Griffin gear set is not entirely all that invaluable. I think a lot of people that are going after Frostwing should definitely go after Frostwing, okay? And it's mostly because of the sword. All right, but if if you want like a long term strategy, all right, if, if anything, if you want me to start discussing why you might want to go after these monsters, then please say so in the comment section. Because again, I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear your input on kind of what you guys want to hear and what you want to know. Uh, because again, these monster reviews have, up to this point have just been kind of purely the team. Uh, which I mean, I of course there is a gear set associated with it. We can always talk about it. But to wrap it off, we'll go ahead and send the one team that, you know, frankly, I was just using a second ago to kill a 5% amount of damage worth on a level 3. Is it going to be the team that kills the monster, or will it only come close? We'll see. But needless to say, I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say. Again, like I said, the Griffin, much like Bon Appetit, is a bit of a, you know, you never really know. Can gotta go either way. But you'll see here at, you know, 92%. It's not much better than the team that I'd used before by 97. But needless to say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.